Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. So I've had a lot of questions recently about doing a full face of one brand makeup look. I use a lot of the same brands and I have a lot of products from brands that I love, so I feel like the brand I have the most from is NARS, definitely. I absolutely adore NARS. And today's video is me a full face of NARS. They're a brand I absolutely adore and I love these products so much. Also, my nails are gone already. That was short-lived. Good while it lasted, but I just can't do anything with them. I find tattooing so much easier with shorter nails, so... They're back. Zoom you in and get started on my skin. So starting off with primer, this is actually one of the first products that I ever bought from NARS. I used to buy this time and time again. This is the NARS Radiance Primer. I absolutely love this. I haven't actually used it in a long while, but I used to love it so much. Also has SPF 35 in it, so perfect every day for underneath makeup. Oh, the smell of this is like really nostalgic. It reminds me of when I was first doing makeup. It's so much easier to do makeup with short nails as well. I feel like I can just get right in there. Now, foundation. This is a recent love of mine from NARS. I've only been using this for about a month or so, but I absolutely adore it. This is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I've spoken about this multiple times. I use this a lot. Um, this is the shade Fiji Light 5. I just absolutely love it. I'm not normally a really matte foundation girl, but there's something about this that is just so beautiful. It literally makes your skin look like velvet, and it's the most beautiful finish. That Radiance Primer underneath it, I feel like it takes the matteness out of it a little bit. This is also really nice if you shear it down so you can mix it with like a liquid highlight. You could even mix it in with the prime just to shear it down a little bit. It's definitely a very, it's a very versatile foundation. Moving on to concealer, again, definitely not a shock to anybody. It's one of my favorite concealers ever. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium One Custard. And I'm gonna use this underneath my eyes and just to highlight the center of my face. It's actually a brand new one as well, so. Ooh. Was nice. This and the soft matte version are my favourite concealers ever, like hands down. I also love doing a full face of products from one brand because I feel like they all just work so perfectly together. I always notice a massive difference when I use like a primer and a foundation from the same brand or foundation and concealer. They obviously have pretty similar formulas and they're kind of designed with each other in mind so you always get this really beautiful seamless finish. Now taking the translucent setting powder, I used this before when I was a lot younger, I haven't used it in years so Let's give this a try. And I'm literally just gonna set underneath my eyes and through my T-zone. Where I've used a matte foundation, I don't feel like my skin is gonna be too shiny. It's nice actually, it's really, really lightweight. It doesn't really feel like there's anything on my skin. Definitely doesn't feel drying, which is nice. But the only face product I didn't have from NARS is bronzer, so I'm just gonna use the Vive Modern Bronzer. Um, this is a shade tan one, and I'm just gonna warm my skin up with that. Of course, NARS Laguna is their like OG bronzer. I have used that before and I love it, but I just don't own one some reason. Got a little bit more shape going on. So now on to blush. I think I've spoken about this in a recent video at some point. Um, this is the NARS Orgasm Palette. I am obsessed with this. It's so beautiful. I have dropped something in it already but it is just stunning. So I'm going to use a mixture of this and this and then yeah we're going to go on and highlight with that. So I love palettes like this especially for traveling. They're the best thing. I always end up taking something like this away with me and then I'll use like the shimmer for eyeshadow. It's just very versatile product. They're not sparkly, but they just have this almost kind of like from within glow and they just make your skin look amazing. It looks so good in pictures with flash as well. They just make your skin look so healthy. Just building that up, you know me, we wanna go pretty blushy. And then running that across my nose as well. I love when the skin just starts coming to life. This is the best part. There's a pulse. Now I'm gonna take the champagne highlight shade. I'm actually gonna start off just using my finger and I'm gonna use that to highlight just down my nose. That really glowy, summery skin. And then just taking a big fluffy brush, I'm going to pop a bit on the high points of my cheekbones and kind of bringing it round to my brow bone. And I like to highlight just above my brow here as well. There we go. Super glowy. Mmm. Yes. Very glowy spring summery skin. This is the perfect base as well for any look. So skin is done. Absolutely obsessed with that. I love those products so, so much. So skin is all done. I'm going to zoom you in and get started on my eyes. So I'm actually going to start with a little bit of that champagne-y highlight. I'm just going to focus that on the inner corner and then up to my brow bone. I love doing my eyeshadow with my fingers as well. And I think I really struggled with that with nails. Just taking my eye out constantly, but this feels good. I could literally just do this and just be done with it. it. Gives me like very holiday vibes. You know, when you're getting ready for dinner, you've been by the pool all day. Your skin looks amazing. Beautiful vibes. Take the High Pigment Longwear Pencil. This is the shade Night Porter, so this is just the black pencil liner. I've actually never used this before, so I'm excited to try this. I'm just going to do a little wing. Oh, nice. It's very soft. I'm going to bring that the whole way along. I want this to be, like, quite smoky, grungy. Just taking a little angled brush, I'm going to start softly kind of buffing it. Just to get a nice diffused edge. Ooh, love that. Then I'm just going to tight line 
my waterline. Need to be nice, sultry eyes. Love that. That's my favourite eye look ever. Like, ever, 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 ever. This is what I do if I'm in a rush as well, because you can just be really messy with it, and it just kind of always looks cool. So of those things, actually, sometimes the messier it is, the cooler it looks. I'm just not a precision girl. I can't live my life that way. One thing Nars is not going to do is let me down, is it? So, again, I do not have a mascara from Nars. I don't know why. I used to love the Climax mascara in the red bottle. That is amazing, but I don't have one. So, I'm just going to use the Swede Cloud Mascara. I'm obsessed with this. It's so good. I feel really quiet today. I don't know why. Not in a bad way, so I hope it doesn't come across that I'm sad or anything. I'm not. I just feel kind of quiet. I think that's sometimes a struggle with YouTube, is like you feel like you have to give so much and you have to be like so high energy and I'm just not that. I had this conversation a while back when I was in Paris with Sammy Jeffco. I absolutely adore her. Our personalities are so similar, it's actually scary. And we were both saying like, you always feel like you have to be so high energy and have these like massive personalities on YouTube. And I feel like it puts you off if you're not that kind of person. Like I'm quite a quiet person. I like just chilling, doing my makeup. I found it really refreshing like hearing somebody else say that because that's what I always struggle with in my own head. So actually hearing someone else say it, I was like, oh, that is fine. I just need some little spiky bottom lashes. I'm loving this look, this is so great. Go, eyes are all done, I absolutely love that look. I feel like you could wear this for like a million things. This is a really pretty everyday look. It would look amazing for like events. It's really nice wedding makeup as well. I always think if I got married, I would probably do something along these lines. It's very classic, it's timeless. It accentuates your features in a really nice way and it also photographs nicely, so. Bridal makeup, I got you. I used to work at Bobbi Brown, don't forget it. Now, last but not least, we're gonna do a beautiful vampy lip. This lipstick is one of my favorites ever from NARS. Um, I'm gonna start off with Patrick Tar lip liner because I don't have a NARS liner, that's the right color. I tried, I think I've done pretty well. The shade She Must Be New, I love this liner. Now, last but not least, this beautiful lip color. This is the shade Highway to Hell, the perfect like deep vampy red and the finish of it is so nice as well, so. Check that on. I also really like the shape of this. I feel like it's really easy to get like right in there. Oh yeah, this is my wedding makeup and my funeral makeup and all of the other makeups. And there we go, that is the finished look. Full face of NARS, also probably one of my favorite looks ever. So I feel like that speaks for itself. And there we go, that is the finished look for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. I love the idea of doing a full face of one brand. So please let me know if there's any other brands you wanna see a full face of. I actually really enjoyed doing this. I'll leave links to all the products that I've used in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching this and thank you for being here as always. Hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I'll see you all very soon. Love you.